this week's books, plus a special on the Civil War novel. So this week's books, we've got a lot of convergence. There's only one week left to go. Secret Wars is kicking off with a ton of minis. Plus, there's been a lot of talk with the Captain America movie coming up, with the Avengers movie spinning out into the expanded universe. So this novel of the Civil War is going to be half off. While supplies last, remind me in the store. As long as I've got them, you get it at half off. The uh, other trade I want to talk about this week is Velvet. If you guys are not reading this or Lazarus, give it a shot. Ruck is the man. You will not be disappointed with either one. So heading straight into the Marvel Universe, we got the Guardians of the Galaxy. Just wrapped up Black Vortex. Kitty Pride is the hero of the day. There's big changes for her and Star-Lord. But is this the end? Of course it is, because it's leading straight into Civil War, just like everything. Speaking of that, Kung Fu, master of it, so to speak. He's got his own series and his own place in the new world. Battle World essentially combines a ton of the multiverse through time, through space, puts them in one place so we can revisit a lot of the fun stuff. Doom's in charge of the planet, but there's a lot of people who have their own plans and they do not respect the man. Planet Hulk, you guys loved this when it came out. World War Hulk was eh. This one was a fantastic change of pace for Hulk. They're revisiting it. A piece of Battle World is dedicated just to this story arc. Spider-Verse, I know we just had it, but coming out of that, of course, is Spider-Gwen, and you guys love her. There's more of her as well as all the other spiders right here in this book. And Deadpool, he was on the original Battle World, and this is his story there because it's a secret, secret war, as he tells you what's happening. Battle World, there's a female MODOK there. That's all that really mattered. And uh, Ultimate End, this is probably the most important one to the Secret Wars spin-offs that I've seen so far. We're dealing with a lot of people from the Ultimate Universe and the 616 that know what's going on, are trying to oppose Doom, and of course that man does not like it, has something really uh, harsh to say about that. And uh, A-Force, why wouldn't you want to read that? These ladies are from all different time periods. you got Classic Dazzler, Old School Storm, you've got uh, Rogue in the Jacket, really fun book. And uh, that leads us directly into Convergence. So this one's wrapping up. You've only got this week and next week as all the number twos come up and tie up everything they've been doing. Now, again, it's been a blast from the past. They've been showing you different Elseworlds, different old school pre-52 stories. So this is your last chance to kind of revisit these characters before we go into whatever DC has planned for us in the future. You got Titans with Wolfman. That's what you think of when you think Titans. Wolfman. Justice League, Hawkman, The Flash, probably the biggest seller. I don't know if it's just the TV series or if his fans are just out there. Got some uh, Green Lantern Corps with classic Guy Gardner, Batman, Wonder Woman with a Vampire Joker. And these ones are some of my favorites because some of my favorite characters finally get seen. You got Omak in that one. You got Commandy showing up there. And you got the Atomic Knights. These are all really fun things that DC doesn't use much, and there's probably a reason, but I love them a lot. And this is it. Demos is still in control. Telos is going to try and take the planet back. The dome is pushing into the real world, causing all kinds of havoc. And, of course, Superman, Wonder Woman, Martian Man, of the League, they're all there trying to uh, figure out what's going on, uh, and they're not really much use. Archie versus Predator. Predator found the gang on a tropical island. They've, he's followed them back to Riverdale, where the uh, killing will ensue. Not much happened in the first one. It was interesting to see Predator there, but the roughest it got was Betty and Veronica got in a fist fight. Eight, a great time-traveling story by Albuquerque. Empire, if you guys haven't read it, the trade of the first series is available. came out a few years ago. This is number two of uh, the new one. It's essentially what if Doom won? What if Doom had taken over the planet and made it a better place, which is what Doom would do. If you've been to Latveria, his people love him. The streets are clean. Uh, no one says anything bad about Doom because we love him. And the new Mike Carey book. I'll see you guys in the shop. Don't forget, Civil War trade, half off if you mention it. And I'll see you guys later.